Dean Lloyd, an attorney in Palo Alto, California, lost his sight 30 years ago. Then, in 2007, he got it back, at least in part. It was a point of light that I obviously hadn't seen in a long time, so, you know, it had some exciting effect, but how useful it was going to be for me was a different issue and a different concern. Lloyd volunteered for a clinical trial and was one of the first recipients of an artificial retina, the Argus II. The implant receives a signal from a camera mounted on a pair of glasses. The device electrically stimulates the back of the eye, producing a low-resolution sketch of the world. It's not true sight in the way seeing people experience it, but it highlights points of contrast and makes it possible to broadly identify obstacles and objects. So I'm getting, looks like right about there, where it's some of the dirt or grass or whatever is in there, some kind of foliage. So you can, you some can kind tell of the difference between one surface and another that way. That's correct. It has to be a contrast point, and that's, you have to really think about that to make it useful. <laughs> the device is approved for treating retinitis pigmentosa, a hereditary condition affecting roughly 100,000 Americans. Dr. Robert Greenberg helped develop the Argus II and now runs the company that sells it. He says the next step is to move the implant off the eye and into the back of the head. If there are patients with glaucoma or diabetic retinopathy diseases where that optic nerve is damaged, if we go to the next step in the visual system, um, we should be able to uh, restore, restore some level of vision in those patients as well. The tiny implant requires manual assembly under a microscope, which helps to drive the price to $145,000. The FDA required the company to build this test, which simulates the warm, wet, salty conditions of the eye. The company intends the implants to be permanent, but they're really only rated for five years. And so it's a real question of just how long this remotely powered combination of titanium, platinum, and silicon is going to last inside the body before it needs replacing. In the meantime, the Argus II may not have changed Lloyd's world, but it has given him a sense of it. I would say you're probably uh, six foot, I don't know, something, maybe two, three, four. I don't know. Six, seven, yeah. yeah six, you're, four you're, is, you're a tall person. That's you're, right. you're definitely tall. A blurry 60 pixel view of things is primitive compared to the eye. But restoring anything like sight, especially by directly replacing the retina, is a milestone in efforts to understand and improve the human body. Jacob Ward, Al Jazeera, Palo Alto, California.